Welcome back everyone to the Dragon's Lair. My name is Wade and this is my show Stranger Than Fiction where I talk about the strange and mysterious things that I love. <clears throat> if you don't know the Dragon's Lair, we have all sorts of content. Go ahead and check us out. Uh, but this is my show where I talk about the strange things that I love. Have you ever heard about the Battle of Los Angeles? No, I'm not talking about this gem of a uh, Aaron Eckhart movie. It's really cool if you like action and uh, dudes shooting aliens, then go ahead and check it out. <clears throat> but what I'm actually talking about is this. So, the historical event of the Battle of Los Angeles. On February 25th, 1942, at approximately 2.30 in the morning, <clears throat> the city was awakened by air raid sirens and ordered into blackout. Uh, World War II had been going on for some time now, and the whole West Coast was pretty anxious about the thought of being attacked by the Japanese, <clears throat> like what had happened at Pearl Tar like what had happened at Pearl Harbor. Now, about 24 hours before this, so somewhere on late on the 23rd or somewhere on the 24th, a Japanese sub had surfaced. Uh, it fired about 25 uh, high explosive rounds at an oil field in California, uh, then went back under and disappeared. So there was reason to believe that there was an imminent attack. And there was the enemy in the area. Um, also, this would not be known until later, but Japan had experimented with attaching bombs to uh, balloons and sending them in the direction of California. However, most of them never made it. The ones that did, uh, a lot of them crashed in the wilderness, and some of them, the bombs never even detonated. So the, it was very ineffective. <clears throat> but the point is, is it's not... A crazy idea uh, during that time. So spotlights were scanning the sky. Um, the whole city went dark to make that easier. Also that makes the city harder to bomb uh, until they found a target uh, and the Civil Air, Defor Civil Air Defense Force uh, unloaded on this thing. Uh, the onlookers would come to call this uh, event the Battle of Los Angeles. <clears throat> um, on February 25th at about 1.30 a.m. Uh, an army radar station picked up an object that was big, moving fast towards L.A., uh, and by 2 a.m., three radar stations uh, had this thing in its sights. Um, in the end, uh, it had been tracked for over 45 minutes by the time this whole story is done. So three radar stations see it, and at least one of them tracks it for over 45 minutes. Um, the target at one point had been interpreted as 25 uh, warplanes, um, by 3 a.m., they were almost over the city, um, but the anti-air guns, the Civil Air Defense Force, they were ready to go. Um, the spotlights uh, finally uh, targeted it, uh, and they let loose. Okay, So you're talking about um, people seeing things anywhere from one plane to two dozen planes to a dozen planes. It all kind of changed. But at 3.15 a.m., the guns in the spotlights uh, had spotted it, and they started firing anti-aircraft, uh, shrapnel, and high-explosive ordnance at it. Also, a uh, 50 caliber uh, machine gun was being used. By 4.14, uh, the target had turned south and disappeared over Long Beach. A couple hours later, the all-clear was given, and the battle was over. In the end, 1,400 high-explosive artillery shells and countless 50 caliber rounds had been fired but there was no proof any target had been hit or any enemy aircraft had been shot down. So this was the uh, news article, Searchlights and Anti-Aircraft Guns Calm Sky During Alarm. <clears throat> and this was the image that was taken. <clears throat> um, so you can see the searchlights uh, hitting this thing in the center that many people say is football shaped. Then you can see these white dots. That's what they say is part of the explosion. Uh, and in a higher resolution image, uh, there's black dots uh, on the bottom side, which is also said to be part of the explosion. Um, <clears throat> no bombs were recorded as being dropped, and the only casualties came from some car accidents, some heart attacks, and some very rare cases of friendly fire where the what had been shot up came back down on the city. Um, no one really knows what they shot at. So this episode goes out to the UFO, the UAP people. Um, <clears throat> to this day, UFOs and UAPs uh, are very common over Los Angeles. Um, and when Project Blue Book uh, was put together, over 12,000 sightings were submitted to Pro Project Blue Book. They explained away almost all of them, with only 701 
remaining as unexplained. However, the Battle of Los Angeles is one of those 701. Uh, in the end, 2,000 civilians reported uh, having seen aircraft, one or many that night. <clears throat> 250 guns, so that's a whole team of people. It takes a team of people to fire one of those guns. 250 guns uh, claimed to have fired on it, but nobody claimed a direct hit. At the time, the Navy wrote it off as an incident of frayed nerves, which is completely understandable. You want to protect your country, you want to protect the city of Los Angeles. If, if the Army says on radar, hey, you got something coming in, and then the spotlights hit it, you're going to let loose on that thing, and I do not blame any of them for doing that. Very reasonable, very understandable. Um, <clears throat> however, the Navy says, now nah, you guys made it up. The Army says, radar said it was there. Okay, then you have 2,000 people, civilians who saw it. Then you have all of the military people who saw it. So on the military side, there's 37 separate reports, uh, including one colonel of uh, people who saw it, gun teams that fired on it. Um, <clears throat> the spotlights hit something. Okay. Um, it's very true. I want to bring the truth to you guys. It's true that radar at the time could be confused by birds or weather, different atmospheric conditions. That's all very true. <clears throat> and uh, this original photo that was published in the LA Times had been touched up to make it clear. However, that was very normal at the time. Photos had to be touched up to be made clear. Um, later on, the negative of the photo that had been used had been found. <clears throat> um, and I want to show you the negative. So that's a version of the original. And there's the negative. And the reason why the negative is important, uh, go find it online, look it up. When you zoom in on the negative where all the lights meet, it's clear. Like, it's, it's you can see through it. It's opaque. There's no uh, hard metal object in the center of where all those lights meet. Uh, however, under scrutiny, <clears throat> what they've realized is uh, some of those beams, and you can see it, some of the beams go through the center point where all those lights meet. Some of them never do. Some of them end at an object. And that's what people who have, you know, used software and experts have concluded is that there is an object there. 250 plus guns shot at it and nobody hit it or they hit it and they didn't knock it out of the sky. Now, I want to be clear that there was a weather balloon that was launched that night by the military because during an air raid, you put up a weather balloon and the data that the weather balloon gives you helps the gunners fire on the enemy over your city. So yeah, there was uh, an air balloon up there. However, none of the 250 gun teams ever reported seeing it. And at that point in time, there was over 1,000 civilian air raid warning, wardens. So people who are on the ground to spot the enemy in the sky. None of them reported seeing it. So <clears throat> you have well over 1,000 people because a gun team... I think was probably about five, six, maybe ten people at that point in time. Um, you have over a thousand people who never saw the weather balloon that night. And at this time, the weather balloons look like an ice cream cone. They're round at the top, and then they're like a cone that comes down, and then it, you know, floats around. So the weather balloon can't be it. <clears throat> um, although there, the only evidence is eyewitnesses and this this photo. So a lot of people saw this thing, and then the photo has some sort of object there. <clears throat> uh, no planes recovered. Um, no debris was ever found. <clears throat> um, and there's only one report uh, from police of a downed aircraft uh, in the city. Um, so it's a really big mystery. Uh, I love this mystery. I think it's a great uh, piece of evidence for uh, the UFO enthusiasts that we have. Um, it's it's crazy. It's a crazy story. I love it. Um, if you like uh, action movies and science fiction movies, go check out that uh, Aaron Eckhart, Battle of Los Angeles. Uh, but uh, go ahead and let us know what you think uh, down in the comments. <clears throat> I really appreciate making this content for you guys, so I hope you've enjoyed learning about this very real event that did happen known as the Battle of Los Angeles. We here at the Dragon's Lair want to say thank you for spending your time here with us at the Dragon's Lair.